It has been 28 years since 14 year old Jenny Lynn was found murdered at her family's home in Castro Valley. And to this day, the case remains unsolved. Well, tonight, an annual vigil was held in her honor. New at 10, KTVU Zach Soss was there and joins us live with a message from Jenny's parents. Zach. Well, the message is that after 28 years of holding vigils like today's, they say it still hasn't gotten any easier. They say the pain is still very fresh, but they say they have no intention of stopping until Jenny's killer is caught. Today, Jenny Lynn's memory lives on through the young musicians who perform as part of a foundation created in her honor. She loved music, and we want her love for music be passed on to all the young uh, musicians in the area. Back in 1994, Jenny, a talented viola player, was found stabbed to death in her Castro Valley home just two days after celebrating her 14th birthday. And every year that her family holds these vigils, the memories flood back in. It was just hard for us to, to get over it. You know, it's very so, it's just so difficult. We like to uh, keep our promise uh, for Jenny that uh, we will find justice for her. So far, Jenny's killer has yet to be identified, and her parents want to make sure that no other family ever has to live their tragedy. Jenny's killer is still out there, and we didn't want him or her or whoever to do it to the other kids and other family, so we like to keep it in the public eye. Each year, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office offers any updates they're able to share, advances in DNA technology, giving them new reason to remain optimistic that they'll eventually be able to track down Jenny's killer. We've taken some key pieces of evidence. We've used the MVAC system. Uh, we believe that we're going to be successful in extracting some type of cells. The Jenny Lynn Foundation ensuring that her case never fully fades from the spotlight and teaching a younger generation how to protect themselves. Learning a lot about ways to stay safe when you're like walking by yourself or in your house just locking doors. While also honoring all the good that they want her to be remembered for, spreading Jenny's joy for music. The way that it's taking something that was so tragic and turned it into something that was so good. Um, is, you know, amazing to me. And I think that's the reason that I stay involved and, you know, pretty much would do anything they ask me to do as long as I can do it. And what the Lynns continue to ask for is the public's help in identifying Jenny's killer. They've upped their reward to $200,000 for any information leading to an arrest and a conviction. Live in Castro Valley, Zach Soss, KTVU, Fox 2 News.